Recently, the Geological Survey of India identified huge lithium reserves in Rajasthan and the lithium reserves found in Rajasthan is higher than the lithium reserves found in Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir, the lithium ion reserves were 5.9 million tons and Rajasthan, the GYU claimed to have more than the reserves of Jammu and Kashmir. So after looking at this news, a common man thinking that electric vehicle prices will reduce because the major component in an electric vehicle is the battery pack and the battery pack is made with lithium. So the lithium is found in India. So in this video we are going to explore whether lithium and battery pack prices will reduce or lithium and battery pack prices will increase in the future. Let's explore in this video. Namaste, I am Krishnayatanya Mandela, you are EV Bro. Firstly, if you haven't subscribed to your channel, please subscribe to EV Bro channel. And this video is a complete research video about uh, lithium ion reserves in India. The first and main important point, so far India is importing lithium ion from other countries. In 2020-2021, India has imported 7000 crore rupees of lithium for our country. So out of the 7000 rupees worth of lithium, from China itself, we are importing 3500 crore rupees of lithium. So as lithium ion reserves are found in India, there are chances that lithium ion battery prices will go down. That's what people are thinking. But for that, the main thing what we need to start is lithium mining. But lithium mining is not that easy. Why lithium ion mining is not easy? To get the approvals, it is. it will take some time. For example, minimum of one to two years and the maximum of three to four years. The best example is Jammu and Kashmir. The Jammu and Kashmir lithium ion reserves found almost like uh, three to four months, but still the works is going on. The auction process is still going on. Why? Because the lithium mining is not that easy. Why lithium mining is difficult? I will explain that. Actually, whenever you found lithium means, lithium can be found in two forms. One is solid form, the other form is salt form. The rock form of lithium is called spodumene, whereas the mixture of salt content, the lithium is called brown content, whereas the salt content lithium mixture is called brine solution. So we need to start lithium mining through spodumene, which is the rock format of lithium. Whenever you need to start the lithium mining in the rock form of lithium, you need to use explosive materials. For the explosive materials, greenhouse gases will emit so like carbon monoxide. That is one challenge, especially if you're going to mine rock solid form of lithium. And the second form of lithium, it's the brine solution lithium. In the brine solution lithium, if you need to start this uh, lithium mining, it requires a lot of water. Even for one ton of lithium, you, you require 2 million liters of uh, water. So that is a, one of the major problems here. Even the water gets, uh, saline water will be more if you started using this uh, brine, brine solution. And also the second problem is whatever the areas that can be affected with poison kind of thing because of the brine solution. These are some problems with the lithium mining with the rock, rock lithium and the second thing it's a brine solution lithium. Now in India we have found so far the rock form of lithium only. So in Rajasthan there are there is a major challenge. We need to vacate the people who are people living in the region of lithium founded in Rajasthan and Jammu and Kashmir. In Rajasthan Rewat area, there are 1,853 people are living. So government need to take care of this uh, 1,853 people. If there is a kind of possible extraction needed, so these people need to be vacated. In Jammu Kashmir, Salal Hills is the spot where lithium ores are identified. In this all, in this area also, there are 3,000 plus people are living. So these are the first major challenges for lithium mining to get the approvals and how to take care of the people living in the surroundings of the lithium ores located and the second challenge we have setting up of lithium mines is a capital intensive business people need to invest some hundreds or thousands of crores especially for the machinery for this kind of mining for lithium and all and the second thing even if you got the lithium rocks also for processing it is also one more challenge the best example is America America is actually having the rock form of lithium but for Processing the lithium, they are sending it to China because that processing also takes crores of rupees of money. That is one more challenge India need to face. The first one, extraction of lithium and also the second thing, the processing of lithium. So more, both these process require huge amount of money. And the third challenge is India ready for battery cell manufacturing. So far in India, only lithium and battery packs are manufacturing here, not the cell manufacturing. For example, Ola Electric in July 2022 announced India's first indigenous lithium-ion cell. 
ओल एलेक्ट्रि मैनुफैक्चर इंडिया फस्ट लिथियम आंड से इन टू थवेंटी टू लेटर भारत एलेक्ट्रानिक लिमिटेड इन अक्टोबर टू थौस ट्वेंटी टू आलो दे हव् अनवील मेड इन इंडिया लिथियम से वेरी रीसेंटली लॉग नईन मेटीरियल आलो अनौंस दे गोन टू स्टार्ट लिथियम आंड से मैनुफैक्चरी एंड वेरी रीसेंटली अमर रज इनाग्रेटेड नईन पॉइंट फाइव थौस क्रोर रूपी आफ् लिथियम आंड मैनुफैक्चरी यूनिट But that takes some time. They actually said that their uh, lithium-ion battery manufacturing unit have a capacity of 13 gigawatt hour. Whatever the four companies we have discussed, these are all in the initial phases. They are not at completely set up manufacturing units. They are still in the process for scaling up of these manufacturing units. It takes some time. Definitely, it it is definitely in in terms of years. Now, so far we have discussed about the challenges of lithium-ion mining in India. But let's look about the possibilities what are the possibilities how india can gain money from lithium ion mining for example let's think that india is not going to do cell manufacturing but still there is an income source we can export the lithium ores right whatever the lithium powder we going to extract that can be exported and we can earn money that is what some people are saying but in the export business also there is a huge competition if you look at the major exporters of lithium carbonate which is the powder form of lithium the major exporter is australia it is actually 52% of the old lithium reserves or the old lithium exports are doing by australia itself australia's yearly exports of lithium is 61000 tons next country is Ch- chile with 39000 tons next country is china with 19000 tons and the next country is argentina with 6200 tons so india need to compete with these four countries to export the lithium ion what are the lithium powder but for the lithium powder exports also it is not that easy the, there will be fluctuations in the prices even if india started exporting the lithium ores india need to offer the best price if you look at the lithium prices the lithium powder prices for ton the ma- the average price is 35000 dollars in indian rupees almost 28000 rupees that is actually the average pricing whereas this lithium powder price usually fluctuates the current lithium powder price per ton it is 22 lakh rupees whereas the maximum price it reaches in 2022 it is 70 lakh rupees so is india ready for the price fluctuations or who are going to start the lithium ion mining in india are they going to offer this less pricing to gain in the market by looking all these conditions still there is a hope for india which is so far the lithium demand is 25 percentage but by 2025 the lithium demand is expected as 34 percent and the final point will electric vehicle prices decrease after lithium mining in india if you look at the electric vehicle sales the overall electric vehicles in india as per sme report is 2.4 million which is 24 lakh electric vehicles are there in india at present but if you look at china per year they are actually selling 6.8 million which means 68 lakhs of electric vehicles are sold per year in china so considering all these facts even if india started lithium ion mining in next 4 to 5 years it will take at least 10 years to reach china but not to beat china but to reach china it will take at least 10 years the reason is china already invested huge amount of money in different parts of the country wherever the lithium reserves are found believe it or not china has already invested 5.6 billion dollars worth in countries like chile canada and australia so their investment is up to 10 years from now to 10 years they have already invested that amount of money so even if india started lithium mining and they do cell manufacturing there are possibilities that some of the companies in india still import lithium and batteries from china the reason is lithium and battery pack doesn't contains lithium cobalt is also required for nmc chemistry but cobalt is not present in india cobalt is present in congo but believe it or not china already invested up to 32 percentage in congo mines for cobalt so from all the ways china is trying to rule the lithium ion supply chain that is a major problem for india then by looking all this situation how electric vehicle prices will decrease then by looking all these conditions what is the possibility of electric vehicle prices decrease there is one possible way if electric vehicle sales increase there is a demand for huge electric vehicle sales then the commission whatever the commission taken by the lithium mine mine owners they will decrease the commissions once they decrease the commissions on the lithium mine mining process or even the cell manufacturing more demand for lithium ion cells 
as because of the sales of electric vehicles in india that is one of the way where electric vehicles prices can go down with the demand not just because the electric vehicle sales in india but also the demand is also very important and secondly if government start imposing tax on the lithium imports also that is one way we can increase the lithium and battery manufacturing so that uh, local players will go for electric vehicle battery cells in india only because government is going to impose the tax on lithium ion imports but finally one thing is very clear the lithium ion prices or the electric vehicle battery prices is not controlling by one or two countries it is actually supply and demand if there is more demand but there is no supply again, obviously the price will increase but there is a demand and equal to supply there is a win win situation more possibility electric vehicle prices will go down but considering all these things because of lithium mining who are the local people gets jobs that is one main benefit for lithium mining in india so this is a complete research report about uh, lithium ion mining in india whether electric vehicle prices decrease or not but there is going to there is not going to be immediate effect no electric vehicle prices will decrease just because of the lithium ion mining because the lithium ion mining will take some time at least a couple of years so that situation we need to wait and watch if you are a new viewer willing to share your ownership review with us please whatsapp your details to the number shown on the screen or else fill the form link in the description below if you like this video please like share and subscribe to ev bro for ev reviews please subscribe to ev bro reviews for automobile content please subscribe to ms auto charge the nature drive the future